Hey guys, what's cracking? Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm stoked that you can be here. I want to look at the eight things that you should buy first as a photographer. I'm assuming you've got a camera and you've got a lens and you've got a tripod, so we're not going there, but what do you buy next? That's where we're headed today. And if you like this video, if it resonates, you will feel good about yourself if you give it the little boom, thumbs up. And then every week I try to put a, at least one video, sometimes two videos. So if you want to be part of uh, receiving a notification, you can hit the bell. That's what the bell's all about. And if you want to be part of this community, this community that's about becoming better at photography and better at video and learning from one another, then I'd love for you to subscribe. Check out some of the other content, see if it's where you want to belong, and then subscribe. So so let's get into it. <laughs> Just not working. Gosh. Oh, it's so good. First item that you should buy is a spare SD card. There's nothing more frustrating than going out into the field and running out of space. So it's likely you got a 32 or 128 when you first started, something like that. Um, I would encourage you to go and purchase another one. This is for my Nikon Z6. This is for every other camera that I have. I use SanDisk Extreme Pro. They're really reliable. Never had one fail on me. And don't tell anyone this, but a while back, I bought one of those generic ones, like the no names. Utter, utter disaster. The card ended up failing with all my images on it. It would skip Vim images. And when I loaded them up, there would be a whole bunch of corrupted images. So don't go the cheap route. Pay your money, get the cards that work for you. You'll, you'll be so thankful you did in the long run. Second is spare batteries. Now, what do you do? Do you go, do you go the third party or the original? Well, all the research points to the fact that as long as the ampage is the same, then you can go with either. Now, you may be like, I don't want to risk my gear to a third party. I do all the time and have done for years and never had a problem with it. But you may like, I just want to stick with this. But whatever you choose, buy a second battery. I've got four batteries for my, both my cameras, actually four batteries for my Nikon Z6, four for my Canon M50, got three for my Osmo Action. You can never be too prepared. There's nothing more frustrating than running out of battery and still having four hours to shoot. I've been there, done that. Your mates laugh at you a lot. Yeah. And it's not fun. Third, a designated cleaning cloth. Now, this cool little contraption is tied to a carabiner. It's a bit helpful. It bangs around my bag. If it's tied to something heavy, I find I don't lose it too much. And I can also clip it on anything I like, like my strap, when I need to give it a bit of a polish up. Having a designated one of these, as opposed to those tiny little ones that come in the little envelopes that you, you neatly pull out. You're like, oh, I don't want to damage this. And then you're like, I can't stuff it back in there. And you're stuck with this, like, get a decent one and have it in your bag, leave it in your bag. It's well worth it for all sorts of scenarios that you haven't even thought about. When your gear gets wet, when your lenses need a bit of a clean, when you need to blow your nose, and that, that's disgusting. Next is this little contraption. Can you even see it? It's so tiny. I don't even know what it's called, like a balanced duvalaki. It's got two spirit level um, indicators that are, it's green bubbly and you stick it on the cold shoe on top of your camera. So you get your camera and you stick the, don't, don't drop it. Uh, you stick it on top of your cold shoe and then you can make sure your camera is perfectly balanced because sometimes you don't have the benefit of the horizon. Sometimes you're on rocky ground. Other times it's like too dark to see anything, but you want a straight shot. So this little puppy does it this way and this way, and it's bigger and clearer than that tiny little balance indicator that you get on every tripod. So it's just, I just found it really, really helpful and it costs like next to nothing. The, I'll put links in the description below to all these things, but between you and me, just find the cheapest you can, best and the cheapest. So if you want to use the links, I get a bit of a kickback and it helps this channel and this community. But if you can find it cheaper elsewhere, go elsewhere, right? Because save a buck. That's, uh, I'm all about that. Okay, next, <laughs> the rocket puffer. Now, um, I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago and just getting dust spots off. 
it, you just you just got to have one but the one you want to buy is the one that has the filter in the back so what happens is it blows air out there and it sucks air in there but it filters the air it brings in so it's not bringing all dust and all sorts of junk in the air into your thing that you're then smashing onto your camera no it's uh, it's filtering so this one even stands up it, it's a rocket enough said I want to talk about these peak design straps watch this this is my strap attached to the camera and that and that and that and that detaches the strap right the strap is now detached and you can stick that on your tripod or you can go oh I need to stick it on my neck really quickly and it's as simple as that that one side and that too now if you these are made by peak design i'm not seeing anyone else that makes them and there might be but i haven't seen them and it's basically this little uh Oh, a plastic disc and and hard cord and then this is what you put on the other end of your strap and it's so good for quick release you want to get your strap out the way or you're shooting on your tripod and then you're like i want to stick my strap on like it's done instead of having this flap around while that's on your tripod and distort your images and get in your way or trying to shoot without a strap on and you bump yourself or you knock or you want to put the camera down your hands are always busy. So highly, highly recommend these. It took me a while to buy them. They're not much, but oh, game changer, folks. Total game changer. Now let me talk about kind of the two, um, two cool little elements, two things that you probably haven't thought of at all. And the first is this. This is one of those things that you get in an Amazon box or any box delivery that you get where it bumps around and these things, you know what they do? They protect whatever the contents is from moisture buildup. I live in one of the humid places on earth. Like the humidity is always so hot, stinking hot today. Um, and I have these in my bag just to protect my gear from mold, from fungus, from all sorts of growth and disgusting stuff, especially since I'm shooting near the water often and there's a lot of sea breeze about. These things keep my gear dry. They're free. So I'm not sure I can put it on this list, but I will. And then the last one, the last one is a shower cap. What? A shower cap? Because fashion is everything when you take photos. So you just whack this on your head and then everyone, no, I'm joking. Sometimes it's drizzly when you're raining, right? So you're out there and, and it's, it might be you're doing some storm photography and it's wet or you're, um, you're setting up for a nice sunrise and the rain comes over. I went out this morning. It was just filthy. The, the weather was atrocious and you don't want your gear to get wet and you don't want your lens to have water on it all the time. So what you do is you get a shower cap that you can buy for like two bucks from the supermarket, I guess, or go stay at a hotel and boom, and you can take it open and just wrap it around your gear so that it's protected against the elements. And then when you want to take a shot, you just click, done deal. <laughs> right, so so a little, uh, little bit of a hack there for you, shower cap. I hope this has been helpful. It, I, I remember just going, I don't know what to buy and how and when and, and all those questions. And you see these cool little things that you buy and then you never use. They just sit in the bottom of your bag or they get superseded in, 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 in two weeks. All this stuff I've had for a long time. It's seen me all the way through. And the only, I never upgrade it unless, of course, I lose a battery. I get a battery a bit wet could show you the video of that in just a tick um, or your gear gets lost you you never have to replace this because it gets superseded it's as good as it gets and so I hope this has been helpful for you if you want to belong to this community if you want to be part of what we're doing here please subscribe that's all it is you're just saying yeah I want to be part of it I want to support what's going on if you like this video give it the thumbs up you'll feel good about yourself um, tell your mates if there's if you saw this and you've been you've got a mate that's like asking the questions what should they buy or they've just started flick this video through to them hopefully it helps them thanks so much everyone um it's been great hanging out with you i look forward to all the rest of the times that we get to hang out and other than that see ya